Why are you going to make that joke harder? Do you know how many claps are going to be in the sandwich? Okay, ready? One, two... No, that was my no, clap! No, 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 stop. No, that's his clap. So it's no. a one, two, three clap. That was my sync clap. Why should, are you guys should we all just do a clap together? Okay, like, one, one, one two, two, three, two... No, wait, are you doing one, two, three or three, two, one? Two, one, two, three, clap. Okay, right, one, three, two... two. I just said one, two, three, clap. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, so I, my first year I lived in halls. God, it's just <laughs> the deep, the deep breath. She's like, <sighs> 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 go on, go on, let it out, let it out. I, what, Bristol? No, the halls. The halls, no, I had a double bed and like, it was right. quite cushy. I lived in halls in my first year and second and third year I lived out. It was a nice halls and the food was like average. I didn't really eat in halls. It was a real, real learning curve for me, but I just really lost myself. Like I just was trying to, so hard to be someone that I'm not. And I just didn't, I didn't fit in the box. Cause I didn't, I didn't go uni yet, yeah, but I, I can relate that to going to college. Yeah. Because you're exposed to a bunch of people from with like different perspectives and from different backgrounds and stuff. There's that one thing that everyone shares is like that fashion style or whatever's in at the moment, yeah. whatever that influence is. And it's so easy to be inauthentic. First year I lived in halls and you have to cook. <laughs> you have to cook? In your halls? Yeah, we had to cook. What are you doing? Well, actually, no, 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 it? no. It was fully they catered. Had it catered. It was fully catered, but I'm vegetarian and they would find nails in the food <gasps> on a regular basis. Shut up. So I'm not going to eat like that food. Nails. No, like metal screw nails. So they basically found like Ikea parts in your food. Yeah, and this, that, <laughs> that, that put me off the food. Because I couldn't cook either, so I was just left to eat like Watsits and Jaffa cakes every day. Sorry, before you even talk about your experience, yeah, your uni was catered. Uh, yeah, my, so it's so it, in my yeah. head, in my head, I'm picturing like a breakfast buffet thing on holiday. Yeah, yeah, it's like a dining hall. Wait, a dining hall. Yeah, how did yeah. you not enjoy uni left? No, it's not like you're like served at the table. It's Here like you go, man. Like like this is your scotch bonnet. <laughs> First year, they want to make your life a little bit easier because you're moving away from home, you don't know anyone, it's right. like the bare minimum, but they make breakfast at like 7 a.m. Oh no, no I never had no breakfast. One eats breakfast. And the eggs are powdered. Do you know how f***ing disgusting powdered eggs are? Mm. It's literally like powder and then they add water and then it's eggs. It's actually not eggs. <laughs> Did you know that? See, look, I bet second year you just ended up eating Jaffa cakes as well. <laughs> I'm sick, look, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so, I would not be put on the same level as Candy. <laughs> I commuted to uni because I wasn't allowed to live there. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> my mum didn't let me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked my mum's, I still am my mum's baby. Mm. So she was like, I don't want you living now. You're not going to be able to eat. You're not going to sit look after yourself. It was like a whole thing. Wow. Thing. Do I argue with my mum or should I just leave it and commute? So I commute. But to be honest, I, I'm a mummy's boy in it, so I I wanted to go uni, leave, and come home to my mum's fresh food. Mm. So I was alright. But do you not feel like you missed out on stuff? There were days where like I had a deadline the night, the day later, and I could not be bothered to commute home and come back in the morning and hand it in. So I used to sleep on my sofa, like literally. Yeah. They lived <laughs> like literally. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do it coming. I was I didn't have time for that stuff, bro. I used to go, they used to live across the road from the uni, so I used to go there, sleep on the sofa, wake up, hand my deadline in, and then literally just go home. So I never had that living out experience, because but my mum's Bengali, innit? She ain't gonna allow that yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just like FYI, when are you gonna cook though? Like ever? When I need to. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not at that point yet. Yeah, okay, good. No, I rate that. You know the people that can't cook and like they say they can cook. Yeah. But then they're like, yeah, no, then no, they're no, like, what do you cook? And be like, oh yeah, spag bol. Pasta. Like, yeah, Toast. Pasta. No, or it's like I can't like cook and they're like, oh whatever. She says she can't cook, cook and then she's like literally can't even cook an egg. I bet that's you. <laughs> the smile. Could if I asked it? you to fry an egg, could you could, could you do it? I don't know if it would turn out nicely, <laughs> but I would give it an, all my, my give it my all. Like, like, yeah, a for effort. effort. A for effort. Do they still give those up? What the fried eggs? Not the a for effort. <laughs> 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 oh god, we are going so off topic.